Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there is three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, 
equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we will be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Basic Business Purchase Order with Accounts Payable Database Template. So if you scroll up just a little ways here and go to our Small Business section, underneath that you're going to want to open up the webpage Access Basic Business Purchase Order with Accounts Payable Database. Once that page opens, go ahead and go down to our Download a Demo section and download the demonstration that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to go ahead and download this version. Once that downloads, go ahead and open it. And you need to extract all the file, so go ahead and hit Extract All. Once you've extracted the file, go ahead and open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or warning. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And with all of our database templates, you also get a pop-up box just stating that this is a demo version of this database template, so none of the data that you enter will be saved. If you want your data to be stored, you need to purchase the full version of the database template. And it also has all the different ways that you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to close out of this for now. So this is the basic purchase order with accounts payable database. So it's similar to our purchase order, however, or our purchase order database template. However, this one has the ability to add payments and have the accounts payable part. So to begin these, this demo, we're going to go and start and add a new vendor. So we're just going to put in some test information for the sake of this demo, but as you can see within this vendor section, you can add in a lot of information about the vendor. You know, you have their addresses, their phone numbers, their emails, all that good stuff. We're just going to put in a few things, like I said, for the sake of this demonstration. But what you can do on these other tabs, as you can see, so this is the main vendor information, but if the, that vendor has multiple contacts that your company reaches out to, you can add in all those contacts. So if they have 10 different employees that you interact with, you can add all of them within this database. You can also add notes about the vendor, have your purchase order. So once we add a purchase order for this specific vendor, they will their purchase orders will show up here, as well as your payments that you pay. Once we add a payment, it will show up here. And you can also have reports. So there's your purchase orders, your statements, your print history, your running balance, and you can even print your history of unpaid. So we're going to save and close this now. And this search function that we have right here, the search vendors, what you can do is if you needed to search through your database template, let's say you had, you know, a thousand different vendors in here and you wanted to find that one really quickly, all you have to do is type in their name, hit search, and it even shows up as you type. That's why this match as you type is checked. And since we only have one vendor in here right now, as soon as I typed in T, they did show up. So as you can see, they, their result has shown up and you can double click that if you want to open that up and edit some information about the vendor. I can add in some more information. I can add in another contact if I want. I'll put an address for now just because. So Okay, so then I can just save and close that now. And there you go. So close out of this. And so now we're going to add a new purchase order. So if you hit add new purchase order right here, you can see this is where you can add purchase orders. So since we have not done a purchase order yet, the purchase order number we're going to put is one. And we're going to say the due date is tomorrow, not today. And the vendor, the vendor that we only have one vendor in the database right now. So that's the vendor we're going to pick. So that test vendor right there, go ahead and hit that. And you can see you can change a document type, but right now we only have purchase order in here and so we can see even the salesman that's on it so these salesmen are just uh, test salesmen that were put in for the sake of a demonstration if you purchase the database template you'll be able to put in all of your own salesmen so we're just going to go ahead and hit that and so now if you want you can have how many quantity how many purchase orders you had uh, the description of the purchase order the type of the purchase order the unit price of the purchase order so we'll just put resale say we're buying some stuff that we've already purchased in the past and we're going to say it was ten dollars we're going to leave the discount at zero, say we're just paying full for it. We even have the credit GL right here, so you can, you know, maybe say it was for, it was for network services through Wells Fargo. There we go. So once I click out of this, this subtotal is going to add up. So if I hit here, here, look, the total adds up to $10. And if you even had taxes on that purchase order, you can add in those. So you hit this, you can have international tax, country tax, state tax, all that good stuff. 
and that will update that total in regards to the tax. Okay, we are not for now, so we're just going to go ahead and save and close this. So I've saved and closed that. Once I save and close it, it does open up uh, the vendor that that purchase order was for. We are not going to edit any information though for now. And so now we can even search for that purchase order. So if you needed to search through a ton of purchase orders or you wanted to find all the purchase orders that were due today, you could easily do that. So if you go for search the due date, whoops, uh, we'll just search the vendor. So if you go search test, hit search, there we go. That vendor that we just made the purchase order for shows up. And you can even double click it if you want to edit some more information about that purchase order. So if I wanted to go in here and maybe add another uh, purchase order to it, you could. Close out of this. Close out of that. And so now we can also add a payment. So you just you purchase something, but now you need to pay for it and you need to keep track of the payment. So now we can go in here. We owe the test vendor $10. We're going to pick the vendor test. Uh, we're going to say the payment method. We'll say we wrote a check. That's fine. Uh, and it's going to come from our checking account. And the date is today. So uh, it's due tomorrow. So we'll go tomorrow to oops, 11, 2017. Amount was ten dollars for my checking account, and so what we're gonna say is is for that invoice right here, this one, that one that was ten dollars, and for an account payable of a trade, and so we're gonna say that we paid ten dollars because that's what we paid. Go ahead and update that. So now the total applied was ten dollars. So now if I apply and close that, I can now even search for that payment. So if I needed to search for all the payments that were the payment we paid today or all the payments that we paid to a specific vendor you can do that so type the test once again that payment shows up that we just made you can double click it like I said you can come in you can add in some more information you can see that the debit that we paid was ten dollars from our checking account and we paid to that accounts payable for a trade fee right there ten dollars go ahead and close out of this and like I mentioned before so like now if I search for that vendor and I open them up if I go into my purchase orders, you can see that purchase order that we made earlier shows up here and you can even print the invoice or email the invoice as well as the payment that we made also shows up right here. We got the debit and the credit right there. Close out of this. So this database is pretty powerful. It can do a lot of things and it would be perfect if you're a small business that had vendors and you purchased and you wanted to keep track of all your payments that you pay those vendors. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert Database Template Walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those. We post quite frequently. Once again, thank you for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.